use substitution homework help. I'm going to go over a few of these problems in this exercise set, specifically problems 3, 6, and 9. And basically, this uh, concept is using use substitution. And in the case of problem 3, we can rewrite this integral as the integral of quantity 5x minus 1. And the radical here is going to be to the 1 half power in rational exponent form dx. So we're going to assign u. And if we say uh, let u equal 5x minus 1, then if we differentiate both sides of this equation, we have du is equal to 5 dx. And dividing both sides of this equation by 5, we're going to have dx equals du over 5. So now we can make our substitutions. So we take this integral instead of this 25x minus 1, we just write in u, because u replaces that. So we have u to the 1 half power. And we're replacing this dx with du over 5. And that's going to be equal to, we bring this over 5, as 1 fifth out front. So we have 1 fifth, the integral of u to the 1 half power du. And what that's uh, going to equal is we have 1 fifth and now integrating we have u to the 1 half and raised to the first power, I mean raised to another power higher 1 half plus 1 is going to be 3 over 2. And then we're going to divide by 3 over 2, which is the same as multiplying by 2 over 3. And we have plus C, our constant integration. So that's going to be simplifying. We have the numerator. 1 times 2 is 2. And then in the denominator, we have 3 times 5 is 15. So we have 2 fifteenths. And we're going to have u to the 3 halves plus c. Now we can substitute back. So we're going to have 2 fifteenths. And replacing back u with 5x minus 1 to the 3 halves plus c. And we can further rewrite this make the integral in, in uh, radical form as 2 fifteenths. And we have the square root of we have 5x minus 1, and this 3 in the numerator here of this exponent here becomes 3 there, cubed, plus c. So anyway, that's going to be the workout. Either of these two forms in the bottom would be sufficient. So let's go to our next problem we're going to look at, which is problem 6. There it is. We have the integral of dx over quantity x, 8x minus 1. What we're going to do is, a, again, a rewrite. And I'm going to come over here and leave some room going to the left. We're going to have the integral of, we're going to bring this, this quantity 8x minus 1. And instead of being in the third power in the denominator, that's going to be to the negative third power. It's here sitting in the numerator. So dx. 
now above, I'm going to say let u equal 8x minus 1. So du equals 8 dx. And so therefore dx equals dx equals du over 8. So now we should be able to substitute. So we're going to be equal to here u to the power of negative 3 and dx we replace with du over 8 which equals uh, 1 8 u to the negative third power du that's negative third power there yes, that's what we need. Okay, and now integrating, we're going to have 1 8, we're going to have u to the, I'm going to leave myself a little more room here, we're going to have u to the negative third, well negative 3 plus 1 is going to be negative 2, so we have negative 2 power. And we're going to divide by divide by negative two. So I'm going to put one over negative two like this plus c, which is going to be equal to negative one sixteenth u to the negative two power plus c. And that is going to be equal to negative 1 over 16 u squared plus c, which equals negative 1 over 16. And we're going to put this quantity 8x minus 1. But this time squared down here plus C. <laughs> so that's going to be problem six worked out. Next, and last problem we're going to look at is problem nine. Here we have uh, one plus one over x cubed and we're going to be trying to cancel out this 1 over x squared and I look at this and I'm not 100% sure of, of uh, how it's going to work but we're going to just say let u equal 1 plus 1 over x. Okay. Well, we're going to have u. Oops. Let's say that's going to be u. It's going to be equal to 1 plus x to the negative 1 power. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. So we're going to say du and the derivative of 1 is, of course, 0. We have negative 1 x to the negative 2 power which is going to be equal to negative 1 over x squared. Now, 
and we're going to have D. I forgot something, didn't I? Negative 1 x to the negative 2 power dx, which equals dx, we'll say negative dx, because negative 1 dx over x squared. And so, just solving for dx, dx is going to be equal to, we're going to have du times x squared and times negative 1. Or we'll say negative x squared du. Okay, so dx is equal to that. So now let's go ahead and simplify this out. Substitute in u. So we're going to have in 9 equals the integral of u cubed. And we're going to have 1 over x squared. And now substituting for dx, we're going to have negative x squared du. Now, what do you notice here? The negative doesn't cancel out, but this x squared over x squared, they cancel each other out, don't they? So what we're going to have is we have negative u cubed du. Now it looks pretty straightforward, doesn't it? We just take negative u, take, what is 3 plus 1? 4 divided by 4 plus c, which equals negative 1 fourth u to the fourth plus c. And now we can substitute back in u, which is negative 1 fourth. And the u that we took out, we said let u equal 1 plus 1 over x. So we'll have 1 plus 1 over x to the fourth power plus c. So that's a nice, interesting little problem there, 9. Anyway, good luck on the rest of the problems. I hope this has been helpful to you. Thanks for viewing.